Sometimes the phrases mission statement and vision statement are used interchangeably. You might see an organization with a mission statement that's really more of a vision or a vision statement that's really more of a mission. But I believe they're two separate things and it's not so important what you call them, but they each provide a separate type of clarity and I think it's important that both the mission and the vision of a group or team or organization be clarified by the leadership so the team knows what they are. So let me give an example of a team whose mission is fairly obvious and whose vision might not be so. So let's say we have a team of lifeguards and they are responsible for a certain beach. Pretty obvious that the mission of a team of lifeguards is to keep people safe, keep the water safe. So over here under mission, let's, uh, let's write that down. Keep, how about keep people safe in the water. That's the mission. Now let me make some observations about this mission. Number one, um, it repeats over and over. This is something that the lifeguard team is going to do every day. It's not a point in time destination. It's one of the things that makes it a mission and not a vision. Number two, it, it, uh, it answers the question why we are here. Um, it's kind of an activity. It's what we do every day. And although it's very obvious in the case of lifeguarding, I think it's still very important for the team to be clear on what we do every day. We're here to keep people safe. It's, it's kind of the thing that your customers look for from you. It's the main thing you deliver oftentimes. And this is something um, that can be seen, maybe not the most visible in my example, but you can see lifeguards keeping people safe every day. It provides clarity on priorities. Clarity on priorities. And daily activities. And again, not as likely to be forgotten or confused as a vision, as a vision because it's right in front of you. Uh, vision is different. There's no obvious vision for a lifeguard team. It's up to the leader or the team to have a vision. But I think um, a good example of a vision might be zero zero injuries all summer this is not something that you repeat over and over and do every day this is a point in time on the last day of summer either this will have happened or it won't. So there's a point in time where you will know whether you got there or not and that's a character characteristic of a vision that's different from a mission. A vision doesn't tell us why we are here but where we are going. We as a lifeguard team are headed to the last day of summer where our goal is zero injuries that entire time. And a mission I mean, a vision does not tell us what we do every day, just where we are going. It can't be seen. This is one of the key characteristics of a vision. It's a little ironic since the name of a vision implies sight, but it can't be seen, um, only imagined. The last day of summer is not here yet. We can't see that zero injury yet. 
we can only imagine. Visions, usually good visions, have emotional content. There's something kind of exciting about imagining that last day of summer where there were zero injuries all year. Keeping people safe is good, not the same sort of compelling emotion as a vision. A mission provides clarity on daily priorities and activities. A vision provides clarity on the future.